What's going on everybody? You guys got the Barkage of the Hidden Gainesville here today. Coming at you from a different location in my room because I'm actually just going for a walk right now. And uh, yeah, just to get some physical activity in on the week off. Uh, in terms of that, you know, I'm feeling pretty good right now. Definitely um, looking pretty good for when I come back. Definitely trying to go pretty hard. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys this real quick. Uh, we got just like some woods and stuff. Pretty sweet, probably going to be walking and talking. Uh, just, you know, get the, get the blood flowing. You know, normally when I'm just sitting in my room, it gets kind of boring. So figured I'd change things up. Anyway, today we're going to be discussing uh, weights versus calisthenics. Basically, just going to be talking about really kind of the differences and why I prefer calisthenics. I'm not really going to sit here and say that, you know, one is better or worse because at the end of the day, you know, any sort of physical physical activity is probably going to get you some good progress except for cross crossfit actually is worse i hate crossfit as you guys know I'm actually going to be doing part two of the crossfit uh versus calisthenics video so stay tuned for that i just need i think is i just need a working elbow joint for uh when i film that so that's pretty much why that still isn't there but yeah i'm going to be getting into this real quick just so i'm basically just going to be talking about the points that i've heard i haven't really done much research into what people are actually saying about this i'm just going to be talking you know from what i've seen in my years of uh, training so the first one is that you cannot isolate with calisthenics like you can with weights yes that's true but my response to this is literally always just who cares you know isolation movements yeah they have their place but at the end of the day compound movements are going to be a lot more beneficial for putting on size and also just building a better physique and building more strength isolation movements are mainly just if you have a lacking uh, body part, like say you, your biceps might be smaller compared to your triceps, then, you know, bicep curls, you know, which isolate your biceps uh, can be beneficial for, um, you know, for uh, bringing the biceps up. But the thing I don't understand about that is like, why not just do a compound movement that utilizes the biceps, not the triceps, get the bicep gains and also, you know, uh, bring up another muscle group at the same time. It just doesn't really make any sense for me. I, I've never really liked isolation movements. I've never uh, been a fan of them. Uh, and you definitely can isolate with calisthenics. It's just a little bit harder. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, who even, like, it doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> and then, of course, where I believe isolation movements actually do have a place and they should be utilized is, of course, injury rehabilitation, where it's like, you know, uh, you injure something, you want to isolate the injured body part to make it stronger. You know, for example, with my golfers although I've been doing a lot of uh isolation exercises for uh form and stuff so it's pretty much that's pretty much the case with the isolation and whatever uh I think the other thing I hear this is the second one uh is that mainly that you cannot is that my body weight is too light you know the, the reason I, I just don't understand this one I think this one is very just baseless for the most part because if you think about the average guy who goes to the gym right they might be going in let's say they just go in I'm sorry about the guys I had to make a quick cut because the uh my arm i was getting tired from all of the camera <laughs> probably bad sign for calisthenics right there anyway uh yeah so what i was saying is people are talking about how you can't really go heavy with calisthenics like they say that their body weight is too light to lift you know they're not gonna make any progress just doing that but here's the thing it's like you go to the gym and you have somebody uh who's benching like 135, chances are they weigh more than 135 pounds. Your average male does, so it, it doesn't really make any sense <clears throat> if you're going to the gym and you're not even lifting your body weight with weights. But with calisthenics, you pretty much always are. I mean, the percentages, yeah, the percentages definitely vary. Like a push-up is not 100% of your weight, but it's still, you, you know what I mean. Anyway, the other point I want to make is like for, for like example, Hefesto, right? Hefesto is way harder than like a, than curling like 60 pound dumbbells which 60 curling 60 pound dumbbells actually would be like pretty impressive that's heavy but the point is like with the skills and stuff you can definitely lift heavy and see great progress <clears throat> and then the last thing i wanted to tackle and this is a really important one for me personally is the amount of variety with calisthenics calisthenics the variety is completely endless you can combine pretty much any different skill and <clears throat> Yeah, there's just tons of different variations of exercise and stuff like that that I really feel like you cannot get with uh, weight training. Uh, hold on, guys. Gonna take another break for the cut. It was, so it was variety I was talking about. Variety is pretty much <clears throat> endless with calisthenics, right? With weights, I feel like, you know, there, there is variety, but I feel like with calisthenics, there's just a lot more possibilities, tons of combinations of exercises, a lot of different skills, you know, variations and stuff. Whereas with weights, you know, I feel like it's just... You know your big three lifts you know there's some other stuff you can do but i feel like it just literally just gets to the point where it's like 
you do these movements and then it just gets to the point where you increase the weight. And I feel like that can just get boring. Whereas with calisthenics, it's like you do a skill, then you learn a new one, then you learn a new variation of that skill, then you combine the two. And it's just, it really is, it's just, it's just endless. So that's why I really like calisthenics. Um, <clears throat> definitely, you know, both have their place and you can train both. Um, personally, I just like to focus on one, just calisthenics. You know, there are like <clears throat> things you can do with weights to help calisthenics skills, like different like straight arm moves and stuff like that but i've never been a fan of that i feel like you learn best just you know doing it you know the best way to train planches is of course planching you know doing like straight arm like i don't know i don't even know what they're called uh, like dumbbell presses or whatever i feel like that doesn't really help with your planche as much as people say it does just train the skills and you'll be great anyway guys thank you for watching the video i hope you guys like the change of scenery uh if you're new hit me with a nice subscribe no jutsu and i'll catch you guys in the next video deuces